Hi, my name is Randy Al, and I'm going to be talking about how everything on, is on fire and you should be contributing. So I work as a quantitative UX researcher right now at a giant megacorp that has a search engine. And um, quantitative UX researchers, we try to understand users through the lens of having a lot of data. We analyze logs, do surveys, run experiments. So essentially data science, but applied to understanding users for building product. And in our work, we have to do a lot of data collection and data processing of our own unique stuff. So we have to run them ourselves on top of all the other data infrastructure that other people help us maintain. And uh, on that topic, data science and engineering, it's been around for about you know two decades or so now in the modern understanding of it. And we still have engineers and infrastructure folk that we rely on to run our stuff. But you know, we have new tools that come out all the time. We have frameworks that come out all the time. We have lots of people at conferences very much like this one who are sharing stories and best practices for how to run complicated data setups. So you would think as a group, we must be getting better at this whole data thing. And yet here's an example of my uh, email box with uh, censored by a little bit of emoji. You can see that there's a lot of robots talking about how there's a lot of systems and data pipelines that are on fire right now everything is on fire and things are breaking all the time. And sometimes we know why and other times we not so much, right? Things have gotten so complicated um, and so intertwined with other systems that no one really knows how everything works, right? No one really knows what every last script, every last program, every data source is. And so things will eventually break just because we don't have that understanding. This is true even at giant megacorp that has essentially unlimited amounts of budget, unlimited amounts of access to full-time data engineers, um, lots and lots of smart people, lots of institutional knowledge for how to run data systems. This is not a question about scale or money or skill. You are essentially fighting the second law of third thermodynamics here. Your stuff will catch on fire. This is normal. Even professional SREs whose job it is to maintain systems believe that 100% reliability is not a goal. Any code you write will be creatively broken in a way that you will never have anticipated. There's no shame or problem with this. This is just how it is. Common problems that will always get you will be things like someone somewhere changing something, right? Database changes, code changes, something. And they don't tell you about it. Maybe they don't even work anywhere near you. They're, it's some upstream system and it'll break stuff. Assumptions that you make about your code or data will break. You might just you know, introduce a bug by accident. That happens. It's the processes and techniques that you have for managing these that will determine how bad things are. Right? Good, robust technology comes from surviving the fires. It comes from having processes around how we make code, release code, and then fixing code that makes everything else work. Um, so all you have to do is write your code and do the best you can, and then let the fires of the world temper your code into something that is stronger. Don't worry about having perfect code because the world will always find a new way to break your stuff. For example, 2038 is coming. You probably do not write code now that depends on a 32-bit integer for time, but you might rely on a system that does, right? Uh, and in 2038, GPS, the weak number is gonna roll over. It happens every 10, 24 weeks. And that's going to cause some chaos there too. If you use zip codes, they're for routing mail. They change surprisingly often. They can cover multiple cities. Some addresses can have multiple zip codes. So you have to deal with that. You, a pandemic can happen, right? Just like it is. Every report, every model probably has a little asterisk in there somewhere that says pandemic happened. Here's a hard coded weird tweak that we have to do. Um, governments will do stuff. Mexico, literally just at the end of October of 2022, changed their rules for daylight savings time. They, uh, governments can change time zone boundaries. GDPR happened in the EU and they can something similar can happen anywhere else. Uh, borders can change. Currency can change. Units of measure can change. The Earth can literally spin slower and generate leap seconds. It's happened every time that something will break even though we know that it, things break. It's very crazy. And if you think that's not enough, the Earth can spin faster, as it has been doing in recent history. If it keeps up and keeps spinning just a little bit faster, it might bring a negative leap second. And if we can't even do a positive leap second, just imagine what a negative one will do. So code will always break. Everything will be on fire. Please, I'm asking you to join us in adding fuel to the fire.
it is fine. You can find me on these places. Thank you very much.